Sometimes in part two of the speaking test, you are asked to describe things that involve a hypothetical situation. If something is hypothetical, then it is an unreal situation in the future. It's just an idea or it's imagined. There's particular grammar involved in this, and this is connected to conditional type two if clauses. <clears throat> so take a look at this. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I'd buy a large house in the countryside. Of course, this, the person has not won the lottery, so it's just an imagined or an unreal situation. In the if part of the clause, you'll notice that the past simple one is used, even though the imagined future is being referred to. Would is used in the second part. Remember the sentence can be put the other way round. What would you do if you won the lottery? So let's look at a sample modern quest model question and answer for IELTS task two for speaking. So you can see a typical one using this structure. So for the IELTS task two card, you'll just be seeing the would part. Take a look at this sample task two question. So describe an interesting job you would like to have. You should say what the job is, who normally does this job, what skills are needed for the job. Explain why you would like this job. So let's look at a sample answer to illustrate the uses of wood. You can see they're in red. It's quite a long answer, so I'll put a link below the video so you can read it afterwards rather than going through the whole thing now. So there'll be a link underneath. So I'm going to talk about a job I'd like to have. If I could choose any job, it would be an air hostess. They are people who take care of customers who are traveling on planes, serving the few food, making sure travelers board and depart the plane safely and taking care of other issues. And we've got some more things, explanations here about the job. You have to be 19 years old, a certain height, talking about weight, preferring younger people. Regarding the skills, one of the most important things is to be outgoing. I think you'd need to be very confident and happy to chat with anyone. You'd also need to be patient. You'd still have to be nice to them. So things that you would have to do. The reason that I'd like a job like this is because I'd really like to see the rest of the world and I'd like to meet lots of new people from different cultures and countries. If I was given the chance to do this job in the future, I'd be very happy. It's my dream, so hopefully one day it will come true. So as you'll notice, only a few parts of the response are using wood. Just because you have wood in the question, it doesn't mean that you use it all the way through. The amount you use it will depend on what you're saying. In much of the response in that example, the candidate is talking about facts regarding the job, which are always true. So the present simple is being used. She's not referring to the future in those cases. She only refers to a hypothetical situation a few times in her response. So let's look at some hypothetical questions, some example cue cards, so you can see what kind of things might come up that show you it's a hypothetical situation. So here's an example. Describe a beautiful place in your country that you would like to visit. You should say where it is, who would who you would go with, when you would go, and explain why explain why you would like to visit this place. Let's look at another example. Describe a house you would like to buy in the future. But it's obviously an unreal situation because you haven't bought the house. You should say what kind of house it would be, where you would like it to be, who would who you would like to live there with. Explain why you would like a house like this. Okay, so remember, check the link below and also go to IELTSBuddy.com for lots more sample answers, practice tests and exercises and more.